last the spillway is baptized. The first tongue of water trickles over the edge. and gathering momentum, the Abitibi's white horses pour themselves down the spillway. It's a great day in these parts. Dominion Construction Corporation executives and consulting engineers view the completed work from various vantage points. 24 months of ceaseless labor today come to fruition. The dam is completed and undergoes its initial test to the supreme satisfaction of all concerned. Like an expanse of liquid velvet, the river slides down and down. And as the Abitibi unleashes its pent-up fury, the potential white horses race proudly through the spillway. Seething in its intensity, the water surges along, a truly marvelous illustration of the forces of Mother Nature. Boiling and churning, the water carves a natural path, undermining loose earth in its frantic course. H.F. McLean looks on intently. The tempo of the onrushing river beats in unison with the hearts of the thousands of workers who have long awaited this day. And so, from a bird's eye view, there is to be seen a modern miracle. The face of nature has been lifted, her contours bent and twisted to the will of Canadian enterprise. True, the canyon remains, but its characteristics are vastly changed while the inherent beauty of the northern Ontario landscape has been harnessed for the immeasurable benefit of the country at large. flood stage and the white horses toss their glistening manes wildly to the breeze. The floodgates are wide open. A tidal wave fashioned by human hands, swishing and surging along. The water has tried to defy the masterminds responsible for dam and spillway, but the water has to acknowledge defeat. well when they called it a spillway. Leaping liquid like a maddened dog almost reaches to the top of the training wall. It is difficult for the layman to imagine the tremendous strain under which laborer and engineer alike are placed at such a time. It is much more than a mere construction job well done. It is much more than pride in work. Rather is it a symbol of justified sacrifice in the interests of a great dominion. <laughs> 